Well, would you look what we have here? Are you supposed to be up there, sir? Everyone's very excited. What do you have going on here? There's nothing even open to smell, though. Like, aside from the apples, everything is sealed. Please, I haven't even started yet. Please. A spooky Halloween cat fits right in with this month's episodes. We've even got secret potions that we're gonna use in our recipes. I'm not sure what you're whipping up in this kitchen. We'll find out shortly, but first, there's a package at the door. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sunday! <laughs> Literally, his favorite time of the month every month. He's done with waiting. He doesn't want to let anyone else get in on this. He doesn't want to listen to us talk or anything like that. He's ready to go. So you guys know by now what BarkBox is. If you're a BarkBox subscriber, this lovely box right here gets delivered to your door once a month and it's gonna have two dog toys, two bags of treats, and a chew. But if you use our code, you'll get an extra toy in your box and every month is a different theme. BarkBox cordially invites you to a Halloween party. All right, here we go. Let's get into it, Coop. Get in there. Let's see what we got. Let's see what the, the best one is. We let him pick out his favorite. Ooh, we're going right off the top. We're not even digging this time. We're just gonna take it. This is sheet-faced. It's a ghost with the beer. Booze. When this ghost is three sheets to the wind, they don't glide through walls. They bump and <laughs> the theming is so good. He loves it. Okay, so Cooper picked out to open the small box first. <laughs> so these are all the toys for like a smaller dog. We have pizza bagels and it has little pizza bagels inside. I love those toys. So I does know. he. He does too. And then this is a shaken monster. Look how cute. <laughs> With a little spider at the top. And then a drool -kula. And we also had a little bit of surprise. This is the double deluxe box. So instead of the two bags of treats and a chew. We doubled it up. We doubled it up. So four bags of treats. Oh my goodness. Look how lucky these boys are. Chews. Two chews per box. That means we have six chews in this house right now. That's by far his favorite part. You think he wants another one? Do we give him another one? Yes. So of course you can choose what size you want, small, medium, or large. Coop chose the smalls to start with. Now we're gonna pop into the medium sized and the large sized boxes. I say we go large. Let's see what All we right, got in let's here. See. Look, Coopy, we have a nice big ghost. Wow, seat. look at the comparison. difference. If your drunk ghost is hungry at night, you can feed him some pizza rolls. That is a big pizza roll. I, I would enjoy that. Look, ready? Where'd it go? <laughs> It might take us a while to figure this one out. Oh, Look at the size of this cocktail. This guy has a ball for a brain. <laughs> His brain's coming out! Oh no, Coopy! Whatever will we do? So these are what we started with for chews, chicken sticks. This is what's in the big dog box. Look at the difference here. Oh, Coda is hyped. Good boy. Good boy. We gotta get back to the kitchen, but we just wanted to share this with you guys. This is like the most exciting day every single month. Is Coda looking at a ball? Is he thanking you? Did you want this? I'm not sure what that was about. So anyway, if you guys wanna sign up for BarkBox, be sure to use our link, top link down in the description. When you use that, you're gonna get upgraded to the double deluxe box. So make sure you don't miss out. Thank you so much to BarkBox for sponsoring. Let's get back to the kitchen. He's got a little pep in his step. We walked over here and I think he was maybe sleeping and he got up and he came running. He forgot. There's fun things in the kitchen. We've got a, a thunderstorm brewing in the background too. And black cats crossing our paths. Do we have good luck for having a black cat in the house or bad luck? I think we're just immune because we own one. Okay. Okay, here's the deal. I picked super easy stuff for Halloween treats because I know everybody's back to school and we have things going on at night. So there's no cooking. All of this we're just going to make and it's ready to eat. And we are going to make pumpkin oat balls, a dog play on like a caramel apple, candied apple, and then 
Some yummy witch's brew. Witch's brew. Ooh. Did you know about this? So first up are our pumpkin oat balls, of course. We've got canned pumpkin. Make sure you just get the pure pumpkin, not the sweetens, anything like that. Just straight up pumpkin. Nothing pumpkin spice, guys. Just plain old pumpkin. These boys love pumpkin. I swear Coda knows the can. You, could, you can literally just serve pumpkin straight out of the can, and it's like the best treat ever. So make sure you share a little bit with your chefs at home. It's an important part of the process. Peanut butter, similar thing, no added sugar. Don't get the ones that say no sugar because sometimes they add fake sugar and that's even worse. So just make sure you get plain peanut butter. Plain old peanut butter. And if it's between like a Jif peanut butter or a sugar-free peanut butter, always just get the plain old Jif because dogs can have a little bit of regular sugar. They cannot have synthetic fake sugar, specifically xylitol, so please be careful. Old fashioned oats. Ooh, oh, look at this. Honey, yummy yum. And then we're just gonna mix all of this together. So we wanna get everything really stuck together with those oats here. Basically start with less oats than you think you need and then you can just kinda keep adding until it gets to about this. Yeah, so then when it gets to the point where it's like gonna be sticky enough, we're just gonna take a spoonful it's make, that easy. Make a ball, and then if you want to be fancy, you could take a spoon and give it like some little ridges, like a pumpkin or a gourd. Do we need to bake these? You don't have to bake them. You can fridge them or freeze them if you want them to be a little bit more solid, which like they could eat it now, but I'll probably store these in the fridge just so they're not as messy. But yeah, you don't have to bake them at all. That took like five minutes or less. One that was like two minutes. And they're so cute. That's amazing. Okay, this next one is a play on a caramel apple or a candied apple. Dogs can't have caramel or the sugary coating on a caramel apple or a candied apple. So what we're gonna do is core out an apple and put peanut butter on the inside with a chew stick in the middle. So oh, it's wow. kind of like a Kong, it's a treat, it's a brain toy. And you can eat the whole thing. And you can eat the whole thing. So that's why we're gonna core it out. You know, Coop, you typically watch with bated breath not hot breath, but either work. Our apple is clean and cored, and I am just gonna put some peanut butter right in the middle here. Look at the drizzling we have going on here. Also, shout out Chelsea's nails. Look at those. Yes. Where's your Bella? Which thumb is it on? Wow. I know, fancy. And just as an added bonus, we can put a chew inside. Wow. Like Apple. That actually, I wasn't sure where we were going with this, they but that actually so looks pretty good. How does he always know? We purposefully didn't say anything. <laughs> oh my goodness, all three. Goop is ready for his solo sampling, please. Nobody else involved, just him. Look at the little demon sister under the table, just looking for scraps. Okay, we have to make the brew and then we can have the treats, okay? Oh, damn. <laughs> he's, he's very, very thankful for this. What is going on here? Water in here because this one, the uh, <laughs> snake venom, <laughs> is just a super concentrated chicken broth. This octopus ink, put a little black mica powder in there so it looks spooky. Oh, the other wow. two items we have are crocodile tears, which is just water, and then this is supposed to be spoiled pumpkin juice, and it's just pumpkin and water. So that's all it is. I put water in both of these already, and we're gonna put the chicken broth and the pumpkin in here, and it'll be a tasty little drink. Coda, have you ever tried crocodile tears before? Wow, look at that. It's just water, dude. Bella's upset. We're we're taking her culture here. She's supposed to be the witch of the family, and we're pretending like we're making a, a brew. Our crocodile tears. Wow, Koopy, this is gonna be so good. Let's do some octopus ink. Rotten pumpkin juice. Oh, like that one smells smell? good. A little for you, a little for you. We've got our first taste test here. It looks like you did a good job. I think he likes it. Wow, what a fancy opportunity to drink out of a cauldron. Koopy, get it in there. No, not, well, if you want to get the apple, you can. <laughs> oh my gosh, the sounds have. <laughs> 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 
What just happened? <laughs> Poop's trying to swallow an apple whole. Let's maybe not do that, buddy. Coda's just casually eating small pieces of skin off the side of the apple. Still hasn't gotten that chew, unfortunately. Chelsea, I think this is a 10 out of 10. I think the potion was good. The peanut butter balls were the easiest, but those just went down so quickly. This is the winner. <laughs> good boy, Coda. That is a heck of a treat. Nice job, babe. Those were all off the cuff. You just made those up. Yeah, and I think the apple turned out really, really cute. They I would, did. I would do that again. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Obviously, we love Halloween here on Super Gooper Sunday, so we're very excited for the official Halloween episode. If you guys have anything you want to see, be sure to let us know. If you guys have any costume ideas, let us know. We're already working on it. Obviously, need to be because it's very, very soon. So we'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks again to BarkBox for sponsoring. Be sure to check out that link, and uh, we will see you guys next week here on Super Sunday. Peace out.